crackers and cheese Here we down go. the hatch. Okay. <clears throat> <I'm... laughs> Hi guys, it's Shanti with Tarantulas with Shanti and I am doing the hot sauce challenge today. This is Da Bomb. This is Beyond Insanity and I was tagged by Alex of Tarantula Haven. So I have my friend Jonathan here. He's also a tarantula keeper. And we are going to feed 10 tarantulas and each one that refuses food, we have to eat some of this wonderful hot sauce. We have crackers and cheese and some chips and something to drink and we hope that we won't die. <laughs> so let's see what our first tarantula is going to be. We had someone else, a third party, pick our tarantula. My boyfriend doesn't want to be on camera. He picked 10 tarantulas. And so our first one here is the Pisolotheria regalis. This one belongs to Jonathan. So we are going to go ahead and feed this one and see what happens. Hopefully it doesn't take off on us. See how we do. We've got catch cups. See her. She's kind of hiding in the back there, or him, I should say. All right, let's go from the other side. Nope, it's in the tank. Oh, yep, that's what I do all the time too. Yep, I'm always losing him in there. Where to go? You know, if we miss it, we probably have to eat hot sauce. <laughs> <laughs> This is lab tested, 135,600 Scoville units. Wicked beyond belief. <laughs> All right. Awesome. Oh, it's going around. Let's see what happens. Hmm. Where's your little paintbrush? See yeah. if we can't scoot, scoot it forward. A, give it a little nudge. A little tickle. There we go. Oh, 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 oh. There we go. Come on, get it. Get it. That roach is smart. Like, yeah, mm -mm, not moving. Do you think they can sense the spider? Yes, definitely. Need some Jeopardy music with this. I know, huh? <laughs> Knows it's there. Come on. Uh, Well, we tried. It was a valiant effort. <laughs> you watch, it's gonna get put on the table and it's gonna eat and we're gonna be sitting here eating this hot stuff and we're gonna hear the crunch in the background. <laughs> yep. That's what's going on. All right, taking it for the team. Okay, now Alex told us to just have a little tiny bit. He said, don't hurt yourselves. You want, you want on a cracker or on a chip? Um, how about a cracker? You want on a cracker, yeah. on a plain one? Yeah. There, there we go. Do this. All right, baby spoon. I don't even know if you'd want to do that much. No. <laughs> <laughs> That's how much we have. Probably not going to have that much. Okay. Yeah, that looks like That a looks lot. like a lot right there already. I like hot food, but. That's a lot. How much do you have? About the, uh, about nah, the same. Nah, I think I need a little more. There you go. All right. All right. Should we eat the whole cracker or just take the hot part? The whole thing. Down the whole thing. Sure. Sure. All right. All right. Here we go. One, two, three. You can instantly feel it on your tip mm. of your tongue. It's not that bad yet. Ooh. It's going down the tongue. Hmm. It's not bad. It's kind of like, um, <clears throat> there's the heat. Now it's kicking. It's kind of like a, it's like a really juicy habanero. I don't know what you're talking about. It's not bad. It's, it's, it's wearing <laughs> off. 
It hits hard at first on the tip. Yes, yeah, <laughs> you probably eat hot foods more than I do. But uh, <clears throat> I was expecting something a lot hotter. Yeah, me too. It, it's delayed. You can definitely feel the heat, and it's kind of dwindling out. I was struggling for a minute because the cracker wedged itself on the roof of my mouth. Oh, right, right. And I couldn't crunch it, so I was like, uh-oh. Yeah, it's like <laughs> eating a really juicy habanero. It's yeah. really not that bad yeah, right now. it's not that bad. No. So. No. Don't be afraid to try the this. The initial hit is unexpected, and it's like, whoa, okay. And then it just settles out, and it's really not that bad. It feels good. Yeah. I like it's it. It's got some good heat. Wicked beyond belief. I don't know about that. It's not as wicked as we are. <laughs> All right, what do we got next? What are we working with? Oh, okay, we got a Brachio Palma Smithy, Mexican Red Knee. Lita. Lita. This one's also one of my collections. It is a female. Uh, her lid is usually a pain pop. There we go. Oop, she just ran. Don't run onto the hot sauce, girl. Yeah, she's usually pretty good. Here comes the medium. Oh, here she comes. And. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. She may we, not be interested. We might be in trouble. Come on, Lita. You know you want it. Maybe not. <laughs> Looks like we're going again. Yep. <laughs> going on round two. You want to try it with cheese this time? Yeah, let's try let's it with cheese. Let's try it with different flavor. Maybe I'll try it with a little, little bit more. What kind of cheese sauce. is this? Just ricotta? I think it's goat. Is it goat cheese? Here, just smear it on my finger. It'll work. I'm going to take, I'm going to take some more hot sauce this time, like that whole thing. There you go. We'll see what happens. Do my nose is going to run though, so sorry. <laughs> Oh, we're gonna have to load up this spoon again. Yep. It's good stuff. Doesn't look like a whole lot's been taken out. No. It's brand new. We haven't tried it. Unless he, unless my boyfriend snuck into it and had some. There we go. Did you? No. Okay. No. We'll be able to eat this with our regular meals, I think. It's about the same. Yeah. I think so. I think I got her. Yeah. yeah, looks about right. About right. All right, down the hatch. All right. It's definitely different with the cheese. Hmm. It's hotter with the cheese. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> it's definitely hotter with the cheese. Well, let's not forget that we took a lot more. <clears throat> we took a lot more. Yeah, too. we did. So that is hotter. That's when definitely you take hotter, more, it's hotter. The more you take. Mm -hmm. I think it's habanero. Habanero peppers, mm -hmm. chipotle puree, your typical water, salt, citric acid, orange juice concentrate. Interesting. Tomato paste, and a bunch of other stuff that you can't pronounce. <laughs> so that. Is nice and hot. That mm. was a nice and hot one. Well, you saw how much we took. That was probably what would you say five times as much as we took the first time? Oh, easily. Yeah. And it's easily twice as hot. Yeah. <clears throat> it's good stuff. <laughs> next. Yeah. What are we gonna get next? What do we got? Oh, there we go. Yeah. Bracket Palma Albo Pelosum. Honduran curly hair. What a cutie. Yeah. This one's another one from my collection. We have five from my collection and five from Shanti's. Which makes it nice, uh, so we have a little bit of a, a variety. I haven't named this one yet. Definitely need to come up with a name. Um, this one uh, I acquired from Jamie's. It was wild. Oh, pot. okay. So yeah, they have a little bit more fur on the legs. They're a little bit thicker in the hair when they're when they're more uh, wild than they are when they're captive bred. Captive bred, they seem to have a little less hair in the legging from my understanding of it. Um, but I haven't seen the difference between a captive and 
a uh, wild caught. So I know one's called the Nicaraguan and one's called the Honduran. The Honduran, right? Mm -hmm. Yep. But they're so so close in, re in resemblance, it's hard to tell the difference from, to me anyway. We'll actually get to see them all during this feeding. Oh, really? Mm-hmm. Oh, right on. Do you have a Nicaraguan? Yes, I do. Okay. Let's see if we can get this one. Let's see. Are you hungry? Oh. Come on. Hey! He took it! <laughs> got to come up with a name for him. Comment and make a comment down below what we should name him. Yeah, tell us what to name this What we should guy. name this guy. That was a good one. Nice and gentle. Yeah, so sweet. Uh oh. All right, what's next? What's this one? This is my Rocky Palma This is a elbow huge faux pas. We've been yeah, calling them Rocky Palma Albo Pillows. Munchkin. And she is a Nicaraguan curly hair. She's such a cutie. Oh, yeah. I look how little her. you are. She's really fun. We're sniffling. Oh, yeah. All right, Munchkin. She's so cute. I just have to be careful not to let her grab the tongs because if she even feels them, she jumps away and oh, she really? doesn't want to eat. So I'm gonna just drop the roach in front of her so that... See if she'll take it. Or I can just put this down like this. Oh, hey! hey. So she always grabs the tongs. She right always on. managed to do that. Good job, she can do a happy yeah. dance? You gonna get a happy dance out of you? She's so cute, I love her. No, I guess not. No, she's like, what's going on out there? She's like a little walrus. <laughs> Oh, oh, maybe, maybe. Uh, no. She's Are they Khalil Toka? She also likes to Album be longer. Song. It's really cute. Oh, really? Mm-hmm. Oh. She's like, what the heck? <laughs> yeah. All right. Success. Two for two. Uh-oh. Is this a Calcotis? Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, Arizona Blonde. So anyone who's been watching my feeding videos lately will know about her, or if you've been on Instagram, you may know. Um, I'm not sure if I featured her in a feeding video, but it'll pretty much tell you what's going to happen to us. <laughs> <laughs> her name is Yang Tara, which means Amber in Croatian. Let's see. Is she gonna take it? Mm, nope. All right. Not interested. Yep. Oh. Bummer. <laughs> I'm just gonna pour it right on the chip. Mm -mm. Come on. All Whoa. right. There you go. You gotta do it. You gotta do it. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> Go big or go oh, home. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So what got you into collecting? Um, I think it was curiosity. And because I was afraid of spiders at one time, or you can put it right on the chip. Put it yeah, right on the chip. Right on the chip. Why not? I was afraid of them. And over, I don't know, a couple decades actually, I desensitized myself mm -hmm. and one year I didn't have those garden spiders to look at anymore mm -hmm. and so I started watching videos on YouTube and I discovered that there were all these people that had tarantulas and I'd never thought of it before mm -hmm. so I thought well that's a way I could have a spider all year long mm -hmm. and then it just started happening that's cool <laughs> yeah one turn into a hundred hey, there's nothing wrong with a good collection size ready <laughs> Deep breath. All Here right. we go. Having a big chip makes you have to chew it more. Ooh. It's a little bit. Hmm? It has like a weird sour flavor with the chip. Mm-hmm. Yep. Because this is a lime chip. Mm. <laughs> That's why. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I didn't know that though. <coughs> it gets in the back of the throat and it just hangs. 
There is a trick. Make sure that you produce a lot of saliva, saliva. <laughs> in your mouth and chew it in one side uh, okay. for a while. Now I'm going for a while. And don't swallow until you got lots of saliva in there and then it'll break up the particles and send them down your throat, hopefully coated in saliva so you won't feel it. It's, <coughs> it's definitely hot. Yes. But it's not like overbearingly hot. My friend over at ArachnoTube he used to be predator or prey online and he's over in uh, Wales and he makes hot sauce that I think is probably way hotter than this and pretty soon he's going to be cleared to send it over here to the states All right so I think there will be another challenge. Sweet. We'll be in the hospital. <laughs> <laughs> I've had a California, uh, not California, a Carolina Reaper. That hurt. Oh, <laughs> you know who has those? Yolks. Yeah. They have those and they have ghost peppers. I can't believe it. <clears throat> All right, what do we got here? Um, what we have here is... Can you even see it? Um, Alviceps, is that what that is? Oh, I just realized something that we've been doing. This is a huge faux pas. We've been calling them Brachypelma albopilosums. Oh no, <laughs> they're not. They're... Because of reclassification? Yes, now they're the Tliltokop. Albopilosum. Oh, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> I don't bother keeping up with the names. It's too much. Because <laughs> in another five years' time, they're going to change the name again anyway. Maybe. <laughs> it's like, whatever. Just, just run with it. All right. So. Nose is definitely running. This is an Albiceps. <clears throat> A little girl that I got from Health Friction. Let's see if I can get her to come out and eat. So how many do you have in your collection so far? I don't know. Best guess. Not including mine. Cause, so, um, a little backstory. So I have 35, I think, I think 35 in my collection. And uh, back in August I had to move. Uh, it was very unplanned. So Shanti here was kind enough to take my entire collection because where I moved to I wasn't able to have them. So she's been uh, tarantula sing for me, which has been great. Um, kind of relieves the the stress of having to find a place that I can house them uh, on my own, which is going to happen eventually. It's just a matter of time. You all right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, my nose is running. Yeah, it's getting there. All right. So, but yeah, so not including my collection, we best guess you think you have? Maybe 120, I'm not sure. I haven't I haven't really counted. I just have a book that I have all their there. Right. In there. And yep. I keep track of them that way. Cool. Eventually I'll get there. It's a slow process. I don't make a whole lot of money. I'm a mechanic by trade, so. Uh oh. Uh oh. You got a roach that's pooing. Poop. <laughs> Little frass coming out. That's what's happening. That's what's going to happen to us. Yep. <laughs> Only it's going to be a lot hotter. <laughs> hey girl, are you hungry? See if she comes out. Take it. Can't see. No, she's. She not wanting it. She's threat posing. The roach. <laughs> Spinning around and ran off. Well. Uh oh. Oh. Uh oh. I look at you. <laughs> you just laughing. We have an audience here that uh, likes to see us suffer. Well. Nothing. Nope. Yeah, it's gonna be just like my regalis. We're gonna put it back over there and eat it when we're not even paying I don't attention. know about her. She's been refusing food. So oh, really? Yeah. Way to pick them, Quan. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I've been watching. <laughs> <laughs> it's hot in my mouth now. Yeah, <clears throat> I could agree. It's like finally. Yeah, it's definitely it's lingering at the back. The front of my mouth is fine. The yeah. Sinuses are definitely running. Yeah, for me, it's the roof of my mouth and cut toward the front. Yeah, I'm, I'm definitely a roof of the mouth, but it's toward the back. Mm. I guess it's just where you chew on it, really. Probably, yeah. So, so this will be your fourth time eating. Will it? Oh, we have to. Oh, yeah, that's right. Oh, I yeah. forgot we have to eat some hot sauce. <laughs> <laughs> Here's some. You want Way some to remind dish, us. In case your nose is running. Yeah. All right. At least we don't have a cold. <laughs> well, if you did, it's going to be gone by the time we're done with but this. We're going to be <laughs> all over. So every time we do this, we got to go bigger. Are you sure? Sure, why not? 
Because the next person has to do the same damn thing. I don't know about that. I don't know if they will. Because every time we've gotten bigger and bigger. Everybody else just has a little bit. And Alex said, don't kill yourself, guys. It's not worth it. All right. That was a little bit more than what I had last time. All right. Let's get you the same. There you go. And I'm gonna be I'm gonna just throw some cheese on it to make it a little hotter. Because All right, I can't I can't not do the same thing you're doing, so Okay. Ready? Down the hatch. Alright. It's definitely hotter with the cheese. Wow. My nose is running. <laughs> oh, that's got some heat. It's good. <clears throat> that one wasn't so bad for some reason. Yeah. Maybe it got lost in the cheese and I swallowed it as <laughs> like a little uh, dumpling or something. <sighs> sure. This yes. is my, uh, my AG Nicolata, the Brazilian white need. I named her Mero. Um, <clears throat> she is full mature. She's about to she's about to molt. That's why we know she's probably not going to eat. There you go. You can see she's already darkened. Her her abdomen is already starting to fluff. So she's definitely due, which is good because we've got a male that we're going to be pairing um, from one of our tarantula keeper friends on Facebook. We did a few attempts, she just wasn't interested, and then we realized she was starting to get dark. Mm -hmm. So we're like, oh, she's in pre-molt, no wonder. So we're going to wait a little bit. So she should be here to do the molt soon. She's always been a great eater, um, but I've never known her to really eat when she's in pre-molt. So we'll see. I've had some that actually ate right up to the point of molting. Yeah, the last I time... I had one molt with one in its mouth. The last <laughs> time I tried to feed her... She refused it. There was a roach in there. You saw it the mm -hmm. other day, but she may have eaten it. I'm not sure. Who knows? I don't see one in there. I yeah. don't see anything underneath either, so she may have eaten it. Maybe. Let's go with this guy. Come here. Ooh, strong little guy. Come here. <laughs> oh, he crapped on me. Oh, no. He crapped on me. Can you see this? He crapped on me. Ooh. <laughs> Poo. Poo. <laughs> It's not just roast roach juice, Alex. It's roach poop. Yeah. Oh, here we got him by the leg. Good. The twitch song. Let's see if she's even interested. <laughs> we know that's gonna happen. She is not interested. Nope. That is a good sign, though, for the yes. fact that we're gonna breed her. So. Um, that is a very good sign. Yes. Yeah, you're in the home stretch. Just. Yup. Yeah. Maybe the last three will. <sighs> All right. Well, that's Mero. She uh, she looks pretty plump already too. So yeah. she's obviously been holding in some some nutrition there for her molt. At least she's pretty to look at. <laughs> nice. <laughs> <laughs> Coming back up, huh? <laughs> mm. All right. What do you want to do? Um. I guess. It doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Either. Yeah. At the, this point. The chips were sour. I don't like them sour. Okay. Yeah. We'll stick with the crackers. Do you want cheese too? Sure, why not? <sighs> now I'm clumsy, so. There we go. How's that? That'll work. That's twice what we had before. Uh oh. <laughs> Better eat just more cheese. I took some of it away, I think. Still a pretty good bubble of uh Yeah. Make Hot sure that this there. is fair. You can put mine on. Is that about right? Mm. No, I think you got a little bit here. More. There you go. More of that. There you go. Here, I'll even take a little edge off. Here we go. Let's do this. It's 
stuck at the roof of my mouth. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Drink. <clears throat> yep. Woo! <laughs> mm. Oh, that spreads it. <laughs> oh, I got a wave of heat just rushing over my head. <laughs> that one didn't do it for no? me. Not that one. <laughs> it got me straight up that my throat. <clears throat> Maybe I'm a little more hydrated. The cracker was uh, stuck at the roof of my throat. I just had it. Right in the back. <clears throat> it's like a faucet. It's just draining. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. My little boy. No, mature male. He's mature for He's quite a out. while. All right, little old man. Well, there's two things going on here. Well, more than that. Mature male, hooked out, hasn't been eating much, does not like dubias. Uh, it's got cool coloration though on the rear end. Oh, man. <clears throat> I want something to eat here. No! <laughs> oh, it got away. Almost. That means we gotta eat. <laughs> he wasn't going to eat it anyway. Do you notice that even like on his, his his fur is much thicker, more coarse mm -hmm. than the Nicaraguan? The Nicaraguans seem to have more fine, fluffier style. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Nose is a running. <laughs> I haven't got the burps yet, but <laughs> nose is definitely running. Um, if you couldn't have tarantulas, what other creature would you have wanted to collect? I mean, I like mantises a lot. Mm -hmm. So, you know, maybe mantises. I like your uh, your blue fanning beetles. Those are the blue death fanning beetles. Yeah, they're, they're cool. Pronounce it. Those are really cool. Eventually, I'm going to get me a set of those. those they're are fun. fun. Yeah. yeah. They're always just doot dooting around. Mm -hmm. Playing around. I saw you got a, you had a video posted in there just playing around. Yeah. And, uh, chasing each other around the tank. It was pretty cool. Now my tongue is hot. Yeah, my roof of my mouth is burning. Yeah. And my, my nose is, is running like crazy. Chip. Even though it was sour, we'll do the chip. All right, let's do the chip. <laughs> Too bad you don't want to be on camera. We should have you try in a big bite of it. The very end. I, I'm perfectly fine. Uh, <laughs> It's about the same amount, isn't it? Yeah. It's about the same, oh, yeah. yeah. I think so. All right. All right. Down the hatch. <coughs> What's that? Oh, shit. What's that hangy ball thing in the back of the throat? What is that called? Lagus? I don't know. Whatever the heck that thing is in the back of the throat. Oh, it's it's on it. <laughs> oh, that does not sound fun. No. <clears throat> <coughs> wow. Okay. You survive. Yeah, I'll survive. Are you sure? Yep, I'm good. <sighs> that hurt. <laughs> yeah, that's not a good place to get it. No, like the it's mouth is one thing. Getting that, mm -hmm. that hurts. <clears throat> I see what you're saying because I can feel it moving farther back. Mm -hmm. It's like it, it started out in just a small place in my mouth. And actually now, this time, it did move back to that. Mm -hmm. Not immediately but, like yours <clears throat> did, but... When I, when, I, when I was eating a chip, there must have been like a blob or something that flicked onto it I while I was chewing. And it just sat there. <laughs> yeah. I don't, don't want to know what it was doing. Don't so let it sit in one particular spot. <laughs> that hurts. Ah. Oh. The water doesn't seem to help very much. It's kind of like, because it's oil based, mm -hmm. so it just spreads it. We probably needed milk. Milk would have been nice. I do uh. have some uh, almond milk. Sorry, I'll live. <laughs> I'd rather die. <laughs> I'd rather die than eat some almond milk. <laughs> all right, all right, Quan, what you got? Oh, this is our Hapalopus columbia large. This is pumpkin patch. 
She is enormous. She is way bigger than any of the other sack mates. That, I don't know if she'll come out. She usually hides when she eats. <laughs> that one, yep, definitely got in my throat. Yep. <clears throat> She's hiding in the back corner over mm, here. Yep. There goes nothing. I don't see any. F oh. oh, I see a leg. Here she comes. Yeah! Yay! She, <laughs> <laughs> uh. she is a very good eater. No more epiglottis fire. <laughs> Not this time, anyway. Can we see her? A little bit. In there at all. Yeah. Yeah, you can see her just barely right there. She's just barely visible. But she's a she's massive. And yours is an adult full full adult female, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. Not as big as this one. No, she's a little smaller. Yeah. Yeah. So in this one I've had her I'd say about a year, maybe just over a year. And I don't know why. She's just grows like massively my eight oh, hey. species columbia large escaped and she was missing for um, over a month oh really mm -hmm. she was in the closet in a bag of substrate so my uh my sazamai that so during just a couple weeks before my move one of my sazamais had managed to get out of its tank how i don't know and it's somewhere in the house never found it I went through everything. I pulled everything from the living room where she was out to the out to the front porch. I went through every nook and cranny and everything that we pulled out. Every box got opened. Everything in the boxes got pulled out. The couches. I dismantled my couches. I have sectionals and they're zipper. They have zipper mm -hmm. uh, cushions. Unzipped them. Unfluffed everything. Could not find her. And I'm like, well, hopefully the new homeowner doesn't uh, find it and kill it. But I left a note on the wall, you know, on a, on a sticker and said, hey, if you find it. <laughs> Give me a call. I'd like to take it back. I got that note came down. <laughs> oh, I'm sure it did. Or I don't. Who knows if the house has, you know, been bug bombed? I hope it hasn't. But you know, they're a beautiful species, and their uh, their their blue coloration is awesome. And she'd gotten herself out on her own. On her own, she managed to lift the lid. I, I had a weight on it uh, mm -hmm. that I normally have, and it just I, it, it must have gotten moved at some point. But uh, she managed to lift the lid on her own. And uh, you know, take a walk about in the house. <laughs> number ten. Number ten. The big one O. This one is yours. What are we working with? You gotta be classy. Another classy. Yeah. Here's your roaches. Land your tweezers. Don't expect much. <laughs> That's okay. Yeah. That one's pooping too. Yes, of course. Yep. It's just a sign of the times. Things to come. Not even moving. Just sitting there. Yeah, I didn't really think this one was going to want to eat. Oh, it ran. It's on the other side. There's his legs. And nope. First, <laughs> <laughs> you got to eat one for the finale. Yeah, we will. Right? Yep. We'll do one for the finale. So we'll have to do two back to back. It'll be adventurous. <laughs> we'll do one chip and one cracker. One chip and one cracker. And one cracker. You want All cheese right. on that cracker? Yeah. Yeah. All right. <clears throat> All right. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> Already be rude. <laughs> this is a hot sauce challenge. There's stuff that comes with it, you know. See that? There's a good yeah. blob there, good bit there. There you go. Cheese. Cheese and a blob. It's about a fingernail size ish. I don't know. Uh, you got a little more on yours. All right, I'll put a little more on uh -oh. that. <laughs> oh no. I'm not afraid of this stuff. There you go. It'll even wipe off the edge there. I ain't afraid of no ghost. That's right. Speaking of ghosts, did you see that uh, the new Ghostbuster movie is coming out next summer? Yeah. That's going to be awesome. All right. All right. Crackers and cheese, Here we down go. the hatch. Mm. 
Okay. <clears throat> I'm, <laughs> I'm going to follow it up with the chip. Get twice the heat. Chip. <laughs> you alright? Mm -hmm. <laughs> <clears throat> Not so bad. I swished it around in my mouth. Yeah, I did that with the cracker. I'm very <clears throat> proud of myself. The roof of my mouth is on fire. That's for sure. I separated it from the chip and swished it around. The sides of my tongue are burning. The top's not so bad, but the sides are definitely burning. And those chips are sour. They are. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It makes it, it seems like it brings out more of the Chipotle flavor <clears throat> when you, yeah. you eat it with a chip. Yeah, I could see that. Or maybe it's just because of the lime stuff. Well, we survived. We did it. We're alive. We did it. Not that difficult. Cleared Definitely had some hot. Oh yeah. Definitely clears the sinuses. Don't let it get on the little hangy ball thing in the back of your throat. No. <laughs> <laughs> you might belch. I'm sure I'm going to regret this later. <laughs> later. Mm. Yeah. There's mm -hmm. always later. Especially for us old fogies. Mm. <sighs> well. Well. No. That was fun. That was interesting. I haven't found anyone. I got pooped on. <laughs> yeah, you got pooped on. It's not the kind of roach juice that Alex had. So, ew. <laughs> <laughs> I have not found anyone to tag in this to follow up with this challenge. So, now it's hitting me. Yeah. It, <clears throat> it's definitely growing. If you have a tarantula YouTube channel, then get a hold of me, let me know, and maybe we can tag you in this hot sauce challenge, if you're brave enough. Yep. We just don't eat too much of it. You might be sorry. Alex said don't eat a lot of it, just have a tiny bit, but I don't think we, I don't think we followed the rules. My mouth is salivating now because you know how I said I swished it around? Well, a bunch of it went up into my gums and it's coming out now. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Good one. Yep. Awesome. Good times. Yeah. Thanks for doing this with me. Sure. This was fun. I really enjoyed it. Yeah, it was definitely fun. Yeah. Definitely an experience. Yes. Um, 135,600 Scoville. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, it's definitely that hot, at least. <clears throat> yep. Is, yep. It getting, is it getting hotter? Yes. <laughs> yeah, because... It, it's definitely getting hotter We for just me. ate a pretty big... Uh, we ate two doses at once. Yeah, so... Definitely getting hotter. Mm -hmm. I don't have a YouTube channel yet. Um, it's in the works. I do have a YouTube channel handle. It's called John's Eight-Legged Friends. Um... During the move, a lot of my videos and things like that got put into uh, on a hard drive, and it's in storage, unfortunately. I don't have a computer at my disposal to process everything and get it up on YouTube. However, I do have a ton of content. Uh, everything from breeding the roaches, making my own chow for the roaches, all the way up to, you know, yeah, you have some collecting. Good stuff. I've got a lot of good stuff mm -hmm. to put on. Uh, so stay tuned for that. Um, again, leave a comment down below about what we can name my... My curly hair. Your eyes are red. Oh, yeah. <laughs> my, um, my eyes are red. My nose is running too. Uh, but yeah, stay tuned for all that. This has been fun. Shanti, thanks for You're having welcome. me come do this with you and yeah. be on your channel. It's been a good time. You're the only person who wasn't chicken. I'm not afraid. <laughs> I'll do it again if you want. All right. Well, so. until next time, catch you later.